All right, it's about 6 o'clock or a little after 6 o'clock as people are coming in. Uh, we want to stay on time here, so we'll get going. Um, first off, thank you all for being here. Uh, it's always an exciting time of year. The weather's cooling off for us. Hopefully it stays there. Um, it's exciting as the school year starts to begin and we start our fall sports activities, fun time of year. Uh, I'm Mr. Dale. I'm the activities director for the district. Jessica Hogan, who is out there helping some people right now, is our middle school athletic coordinator. So if you would have questions or students would have questions at the middle school, they can go to her. You guys can also come to me at any time as well there. Um, we're at the general meeting here. I'm just going to go over some basic rules, procedures, how to register. After that, if you're in a fall sport, parents and athletes will break up around the school here and you'll go meet the coaches. They'll go over kind of the schedule for the year, expectations, anything else that they might have to share with you. Um, this year's a little different. Those that have been part of this in the past. We've always done what our concussion testing, which used to be called impact testing, will now be sway testing. So this year, all 9th through 12th grade students will have to do a different kind of concussion test, which will be done through a tablet or their phone. Um, we're not going to have everyone do that tonight because that's a lot of athletes. So we're going to start with football tonight, and then during that first week of practice, we will get to everyone else there. If you're not in any fall sport after this meeting, what I would recommend is make sure you're registered. If you have questions on that, there'll be people out there to help you in the hallway or in the office, and then you're free to go. How our eligibility process works, we try to make it simpler. Some people might think it's harder because it's online now. Um, but you complete a registration online through the online registration. Um, you go through, pick out the sports you want, add uh, general information. You can upload your physical on there. You can pay your fee. And then you're set to go for the season. Okay? Those three things, the online registration, the physical, and the fee should be done before your season starts. So for high school, 9 through 12, uh, you start August 12th. Um, actually, everyone starts August 12th besides middle school volleyball and middle school football. They'll start the 19th. Everyone else starts August 12th. When you're at your fall meetings, the coaches will tell you the times and locations. Okay. If on day one you don't have a completed registration, a physical on file, you will not be able to practice that day. You won't be able to practice until that's complete. Okay. Going through the online registration, you can find it on our district website. You go under activities, then under activity registration, you create a logger, login, username and login, password, and you're good to go. It'll walk you through the steps there. Okay. On there, like I said, you can upload your physical and make your payments on there as well. We've had some issues. If you're a St. Mary's student, a Christian school student, or a Brewster student, sometimes you're not in our system. It'll come up as student does not exist. Please contact the high school, middle school office, or tonight find someone in our office or in the hallway. They can help you get you, re get you registered and get you on the right track. Um, if you do not want to pay online through a credit card system, you can also stop into our office after this and pay for your activity now as well. We did change our participation fees. Um, they are now $40 for 9 through 12, and middle school is $20, just a straight fee. Before we had different fees, we just made it simpler, try to make it easier. The family max is $200 for a whole family, and that includes the whole season, and that would also include fine arts or other activities that they may be in. Uh, this form is called our Trojan Athletic Form, or may, the athletes might hear it as a gray slip. So after that first day of practice, if they're not registered or don't have their physical on file, the coaches are probably going to send you to the high school, middle school office to make sure you have all your paperwork in, turned in. They'll ask you to bring a gray slip to the coaches. On day one, August 12th, August 19th, for those sports, you can show up. The coaches will have a list of who's completed everything and who can participate. But after day one, then they got to come to the office and get a gray slip saying everything has been turned in. Uh, tomorrow night, if 
you're in seventh grade or 10th grade, you're probably up for a physical. Like I said before, a physical is good every three years. So if you had one your seventh grade year, you're good through your ninth grade year, okay? Tomorrow night at Sanford, they have an open walk up where you can go walk up and get a physical for $35. Um, I would recommend that if you haven't scheduled something yet. Um, it's very difficult right now to get into a provider to set up a physical. This time of year, they're extremely busy. That's one reason why Sanford offers this, to provide time for that. Uh, Non-school competition or training. So if you're in a sport right now, say you're in soccer, I'll use soccer, you cannot participate in that same sport during that same season. Okay? The only exceptions to that would be baseball and softball. I bring up soccer because we've had issues with our boys' soccer players want to play adult league and continue to play during for the high school team. If you play on two teams of the same sport during the same season, it'd be a violation. You'd have to sit out games, and your team might have to forfeit games or a number of games that you participate in. So we need to make sure we follow that rule. It's kind of hurt us in the past, and we don't want anyone to be put in that situation, and you don't want to put your team in that situation at, either. Uh, this one's a big one for me, and this is, we all need to get better at, not only here in Worthington, but just in general in sports. Um, we need to be respectful, okay? Be respectful of our opponents, be respe respectful of our officials, but most importantly, be respectful of, of everyone in here, or your class. We're all one team here. It doesn't matter if you're in volleyball, football, hockey, wrestling, baseball. This is all one family. This is all one one, we're all Trojans here. We need to be cheering for one another, be praising one another for when people do good things, when teams do good things. We need to stay together, okay? Student sections, we need to have fun. I'm all about having fun. I'm all about letting you have fun. We want to create a good environment, but we want to do that in a positive nature, and we want to do that by being respectful. Be respectful to your own teammates, your own students, but got to be respectful for your opponents. Don't cheer against them, cheer for your team. And this is a big one to me, which we don't do a very good job of here, is clean up after yourselves. Okay, if you go get something at the concession stand, pick up around you, throw it away on the way out. Um, at every one of our facilities, we have garbage cans in the aisles. Get stuff put in the, gar in the garbage cans. Our custodians do an awesome job of keeping this facility, all our facilities, uh, in great shape. But it is, it's not their job to pick up after us. So pick up after yourselves. Uh, same thing for our athletes. If you're on the benches, pick up your bottle, water bottles when you're leaving, throw them in the garbage cans. Same thing when you're on the buses. If you have garbage on the bus, make sure they get in the right spot. Again, we're representing Worthington. When we go on the road, when we're on our buses, no matter where we're at, we want to be respectful, not only of when we're on the road, but also at home. Uh, academic policy, uh, it just works like this. Every two weeks, we send out a grade report. If you're, a, if you're on a failing grade, you're ineligible. You're ineligible until you turn in a form like this. You get this from the high school or middle school office. You go around, have all your teachers sign, saying you're passing that course. You turn that back into the middle school or high school office. You become eligible again, okay? Next time that eligibility that two weeks is up, you're failing again, that process starts all over again, okay? As a, we're not just athletes, we need to be student athletes, okay? Student piece is the bigger piece of this whole thing. 1% of people in this facility are gonna go on to play college sports, okay? So the student piece is more important than the, ac the athletic piece of things. Attendance policy, you need to be in school by third block to practice or play that day. Obviously, there's different circumstances. If you're excused for different things, just make sure you send an email to the office, myself or Ms. Hogan, and we'll, we'll make sure that you're able to practice that day if you're out for an appointment, funeral, other things that may come up. Um, obviously, if you're making poor decisions and you're in ISS or OSS, uh, you will not practice or play in that game that day, and there'll probably be some other consequences that come along with that. Strength training, 
Um, this is where I feel like as a school, as a district, we're farther behind than other schools, okay? We need to get better at treating our strength training like our practices, okay? Nine through 12, some of our seven through 12 programs, you're required to lift two days a week, okay? Some coaches have it set up for in the morning before school. Some have it right after school, okay? It's an extension of your practice. You should be there. Just like you're at practice, you should be at your weightlifting sessions, and you should take it serious, okay? If you're not taking it serious, you're hurting yourself, and more importantly, you're hurting your team. We need to get better in our, in our uh, strength training. Um, if you're not in a fall sport and want to get in there, talk to Coach Grimius in the weight room. He'll get you set up with a weightlifting program for those off-season people. Transfer rule, um, I'm just going to keep this simple. If you just move to the district as a ninth grader or above, just come see me, okay? We'll take care of that. Um, but I need to see you because if we don't, uh, we could be in some violations. So we just have to fill out some paperwork through the Minnesota State High School League. So again, any new students to the district, ninth grader or above, come see me in the high school office. Emission prices have changed for the year. Um, we used to be at six and four. Us and Laverne were the only two schools in our conference that weren't at seven and five. Uh, the reason we decided to go up was so we could add online ticketing, which is becoming more and more. If you go to section events, state events, everything's done online. So we have different options now when you come to games. You can either pay cash at the gate, pay credit card at the gate, or you can purchase your tickets ahead of time online. Okay, and we'll provide more information. We'll send out information through all our different media sites so you know how to do that. Um, what I would recommend, if your student is involved in more than one sport, I would suggest buying a pass. It's going to be a lot cheaper that way. Our students get in for free, K through 12. I will say this, our events are not a babysitting place. Okay. Don't drop your kids off and just leave, okay? They are there to watch the event. They are to cheer on the athletes competing. But my, me and my staff shouldn't have to go around and continue to babysit kids and tell them where to go. If that's going to happen, we're just going to send them, remove them. We're going to not allow them to come to events anymore, okay? So we're there to watch the sport, cheer on the, pe the athletes competing. All K through 12 get in for free. That includes St. Mary's, Christian School, Brewster. They all get in for free. Um, they all will get passes, 7 through 12 or 6 through 12. We'll use their IDs. The elementary kids uh, at conferences or back to school days, you'll get a little slip of paper that has that pass on it. Um, adults, we have 10 punch passes. We have unlimited passes. The unlimited passes can be purchased online through that GoFan where you can purchase tickets and you can get a digital pass if you want to go that direction. Um, Golden Age 65 and older is free and then um, you can buy an unlimited family pass which we don't sell a lot of those anymore because our students get in for free so we don't we don't need that option as much anymore. Pictures uh, for all our sports besides middle school Football and middle school volleyball will take place Wednesday, August 21st. I'll send out a schedule to our coaches on when the pictures will be taken. You can go online to purchase the pictures or the couple days before we'll give uh, coaches the hard packets where you can fill that out and turn it back in the day of. Okay. Uh, the middle school football, middle school volleyball will communicate when pre uh, pictures will be through Schoology and through our middle school access points there. Uh, big one here, activity schedules. Um, they can be fined. I know most of you saw there's calendars out there. Calendars are great, but things change, okay? Those calendars, most of the events are on there are probably accurate. There's probably some on there that aren't on there or that have changed dates. So the best place to find is to go onto our website under activities, activity schedule. That'll be the latest up-to-date uh, changes that I will make. Um, schedules are always correct on there. On there, you can set up a notify me. So if I go on there and change something due to weather, it'll pop up. You'll get an alert saying, 
hey, this game has been postponed or canceled to a later date. They'll probably have the date. If there's a time change, location change, any kind of change, I go in there as soon as we make those decisions and I, and I go and put those in there. We'll communicate with coaches. We'll get all as best we can. But the notify me tab is probably the best way to keep up to date with everything. Uh, streaming, streaming is becoming bigger and bigger. Um, we used to use our event 518 YouTube page. That huddle no longer allows us to do that. So they have their own site that they do that with. And we'll put that on our main page of our district website. Um, our huddle covers games in this gym and Trojan Field. And like I said, the link will be on the front page. We'll, we'll get that out through our communi communication uh, ways as well. Uh, we also have NFHS cameras. Um, them are pay subscriptions, so you gotta pay for those, okay? Unfortunately, it's for this gym, excuse me, this gym, Trojan Field, and the gymnastics facility has the uh, NFHS. We're working on providing more huddle cameras to different sports. Now you can provide them at baseball, softball. I know hockey out there at the Arena uses Live Barn, which is a little different with the association. Um, but we're trying to get our events streamed as much as we can. So that's a work in progress. Uh, trainers, Crack and Mitzi, come up here. Come over here a little bit so they can see you. Uh, first, Joel Krackelberg, he's been doing this for how many years, Joel, now? What year is this? 39 years. So we have been incredible, we've been just in very satisfied, very thankful of all the work he has done over the years. I know last year was hard on him as he was the only one where he's covering not only our events, but covering Minnesota West. So we're lucky this year to have Mitzi back. She used to be a former student here. She was a trainer in the cities for a year or two there and she decided to come home. So we're excited to have her here on staff as well. These two are available to help your athletes. Okay, they're available by phone, through their coaches. Um, Mitzi will be in the office here, either in the training room here or at Trojan Field, Tuesday, Thursdays, and most Fridays from 1 p.m. till the events are over, okay? Crack will cover events, um, and he's kind of on that on-call basis. If we need something, we can call him. He'll stop by the, one of the schools and take a look at our athletes. But use these two, very knowledgeable. We're very fortunate to have these two. We're very fortunate of Sanford providing their services to us. So thank you to you too for all you have done. We're almost there, I got a couple more slides. Trojan Booster Club, you might have saw them when you're coming in, they're out there in the hallway. They provide all the Meet the Trojan stuff that we do. They provide some equipment that the school does not fund. Um, please think about joining our booster club. Uh, it's $30 for a family, $60 for a business, and like I said, all the proceeds raised go back to our athletes and our athletic, athletic programs. One thing they took on last year was our community cleanup day, which is awesome. They were a big help with that uh, part of things. Um, if you go out there, they have some different, different ways they're trying to promote uh, Trojan pride within our community. You can get some paint that you can put, uh, stencils that you can put on your driveways. Uh, they have other things out there that they're doing to try and promote Trojan pride around here as well. So thank you for all the volunteers that help out with the Booster Club. Uh, before I get there, I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming out tonight. I want to say communication is going to be the biggest key for everything, okay? I tell our coaches to communicate with your athletes to communicate with you parents as best they can, okay? Some of their conversations are gonna be difficult. They have to make difficult decisions, especially at that varsity level. Um, there's more about being part of a team. Not everyone's gonna get a chance to play the same amount. That's just how it works when it comes to sports. Um, but we need to support them. They have a hard job. Uh, they work hard. They don't get paid a lot for what they do. They don't get paid enough for what they do but they do it because they love the sport and they love the kids. Um, communicate, they will com communicate with the athletes, they'll be honest with them, but please respect them, okay? If you have questions or concerns, reach out to them, 
Not right after a game. Wait till the next day. Reach out to them. They'll get back to you and be honest with you. Okay? I'm also there available if you need, if you have questions, you need help, I can help with some of those things. Uh, Miss Hogan at the middle school can help answer some of those things too. But we, re we ask that the athletes go to the coaches first before we begin the other process there. Let's have a great year. Let's have a great start to it. Remember, we're all Trojans here. Let's cheer for one another. Let's have a lot of attendance at all our different events. Um, at this time, we're going to send you off to your different rooms for the fall sports. Like I said, if you're not in a fall sport, you can go get registered now or you're free to go. Okay? Hang on one second. Uh, everyone stay seated, stay seated. We're not done yet. Do you want to yeah, okay. yeah. Hola, buenas tardes. Um, Primero disculpen que no tuvimos la presentación en español para nuestra comunidad hispana que vino aquí. Um, estamos agradecidos con todos ustedes de que hayan venido a apoyar a sus hijos um, que están uh, queriendo inscribirse en algún deporte. Um, voy a resumir un poquito lo que se habló uh, uh, para lo de hoy. Uh, primero, uh, los que van a, más en específico los que van a jugar algún deporte ahorita de otoño, las, la, los entrenos van a empezar el ya sea el 12 o el 19 de agosto, entonces es muy importante que um, eh, intenten registrarse hoy mismo o lleven las um, instrucciones de cómo registrarse, van a tener que crear un, us, uh, un nombre de usuario y una contraseña y eso los va a poder uh, ayudar a registrarse para escoger uh, el deporte que va a participar su hijo o hija y poder uh, pagar la tarifa que se requiere para eso. Uh, antes de poder participar en cualquier deporte también se tiene que tener el físico deportivo Si, no, si aún no ha tenido un, un físico o ya van a cumplirse los tres años de que se ha hecho el físico, mañana van a estar en Sam, la clínica en Sanford, va a estar, um, también hay una hoja que muestra de a qué horas a qué horas van a poder simplemente llegar, uh, va a ser 35 dólares, um, parece, para hacer el, um, el examen, entonces tienen que tener eso y, y tener registrado ya a su hijo o hija para poder participar um, en esos deportes. También um, el el examen de impacto que se hace usualmente para hoy no lo van a hacer, lo van a hacer de manera diferente, pero eso ya se va a explicar después a su, a su hijo que participe en el deporte cómo se hará. Uh, so so es lo que primordialmente se quiere hacer hoy es registrarse. Uh, si tiene preguntas van a estar afuera aquí en los pasillos, um, ahí podemos ayudarles uh, si tienen preguntas con eso. Um, a ver qué más. Y hoy oh, también la o oh, la tarifa sí, ok. So, solamente es básicamente lo que resumió, explicó un poquito más sobre la elegibilidad para poder participar en los deportes, sus estudiantes van a tener que mantener buenas notas, ser buenos ejemplos, a participar, estar ahí en todos los entrenos, entonces a, estamos, a, esperemos que los puedan apoyar en eso y a, aquí estamos para ayudarles cualquier cosa que necesiten, pueden buscar a uno de nosotros para si ocupan ayuda o tienen preguntas. Thank you. Um, before I put up the, where the rooms are, please, everyone, everyone just stay seated so everyone can hear and see where I'm directing people. I know a lot of you know where you think you're going, but there's a lot of people in here that have no clue where they're going. So just be patient. I'll release everyone at one time, see if we can do this. So Gino Lace is our head football coach. When I release you, you can head to the auxiliary gym. The auxiliary gym, the only way to get there today is going back to the lobby down the hallway to the right, it'll be the gym along the doors off of Clary there. Uh, Corey Schmidt is our cross country coach. They will meet in room 500, which is down this hallway to the cafeteria, and you're gonna take a right, the room will be on the right side. Volleyball will meet in the band room. The way to get to the band room tonight is through the doors where that light just came on back there, go down there, straight ahead, the band room will be on the right. Uh, Mike Marquardt, who is our girls' tennis coach, they will be in room 329. Some of you students might know that as Grimm's room. That will be in our new addition, so you got to go out the hallway, take a left, go down to the set of doors there, take another left, it will be on the right side. Josue Hernandez is our girls' soccer coach. They will meet in room 100. Again, they're going down to the cafeteria, down this hallway, take a left, and it will be the first door on the left there. 
And last, boys soccer will meet in the cafeteria down the hallway there, and they're coached by Juan Flores. Again, let's have a great fall season, and go Trojans.